Um, okay, so let's talk about some design play to create questions, moving a little bit more into the process, and then we'll talk about some, again, that heart of product, and then even some of your guys' questions as far as um, processes and day-to-day -day operations of the business. So some of the questions we got from June Richards is, um, how do you decide on which templates to use on your layouts? Um, I guess I'll go. Um, for me, it usually comes down to um, my paper. Like if, um, I guess it's theme and paper. So if, I ha if I'm scrapbooking a certain theme, I'll try to keep that in mind. But a lot of times they'll be inspired by the feel of the paper. Like, is it more elegant? Is there a fun little something in one of the patterns that reminds me of a template that I can pull in so I can kind of mimic that feel through it? So probably, I mean, that's, you know, it's it's usually you know, in the, the pictures or stuff that I would pull from yeah. the from the paper that I'm I'm working with. Yeah. We just lost Debbie. Maybe she had to, she does have a meeting, but I thought she was gonna hold yeah. out for another five minutes. We'll see if she comes back. Um, we'll text her really fast. At least have her come back and say bye. If that's the case, right. I don't think she would do that. I think she would have said bye. So yeah, she, she would have, so she must have just happy. been accidentally. Okay, I think, yeah, definitely the designs in the paper is what encourages me. Sometimes I'll find something relatable to a template or just different things like that. Um, of course, if it has a certain theme, like from my pictures, that's where the inspiration comes to, you know, depending on what themes and different things that you are working on as well. Okay, um, where, let's see, how often, how often do you scrapbook, whether you're doing a video or not? Hey, Deb, you're muted. Is she in there? Yeah, she's back. Okay. I'm back. So it's my hey, we're going to wrap up and let you say goodbye here in a minute. Uh, Shiloh and I can hang out for a few more minutes. Anyone that's interested, just answer a couple more questions. But Debbie does have a class she's got to teach. I have to teach a class. So, um, what was the question? The question was, how often do you scrapbook? So, I scrap scrapbook every month for we sure do. because I we scrapbook every month for pretty much a solid week for Kiwi um, Club. Weekends and weekends. Yeah. Kiwi Club. <laughs> yeah. So if anyone's not familiar with the Kiwi Club, the PDF that comes, the free ideas, again, the sharing of ideas, again, something that went back to our core as we expand and grow, it was something that we wanted to keep original to the founders, um, especially in the realm of scrapbooking, because that's something that we, um, that's where it sparked, right? And so we wanted to keep that core there and centered. So we came up with a process in general. <laughs> that, uh, we all scrapbook with the kids every single month. And those are what you see in the idea book from us, um, what we were inspired to do. So let's talk about that process for a little bit because it's an interesting process. Like we don't see what each other scrapbooks. Nope. Sometimes <laughs> on occasion, uh, once I'm uploading all my sample pictures, I'll be like, what they do this month? <laughs> but half the time, we don't all put them in at the same time, so. Which I must say, I think that's one of the, I enjoy it. It's definitely, we, we kind of smile and smirk because it's like, oh my gosh, okay, wait. I got to get these in by a certain time frame so that they, the team can do their job in sense of right. like putting it together in a prop, you know, PDF and such. But, um, but yeah, like when we, I, I believe in strongly when we say like the Kiwi Club, like set aside some time every month to use that kit. There's so much joy and the consistency of, right. of creating so um outside yeah, of that, I, go ahead i think we might have lost her again i don't know her internet the internet problems yep um, yeah. so i don't know how you can sum that up except for like debbie says like a full week she's got that laid out on her table mine is always spread out until i'm done um I, yeah with my debbie doesn't see it debbie's not in necessarily the product committee um, so uh, she even I see don't see the kit until it arrives at my door. I just got the next month. I'm <laughs> so excited. So I, I get it. I'm so excited. I, I open it up. I spread out all the papers and look at the templates and look at each of the cards and start thinking about pictures. And then I spend, you know, pretty much a week working yeah. on it. I, I spend several solid days for sure 
doing mine. Lately, I've been stretching my kit quite a lot, and I do this crazy scrapbooking thing where I lay out like four layouts, and then I put all my templates on all four layouts, <laughs> and then I start cutting all my pieces to make sure my my kit will stretch long enough for all of it. But they are too great. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna start with layout one, layout two, layout three. Because it's probably a little, but you know, I open it and then there's so many ideas. I'm like, I have, I have lots of pictures. Oh, yeah. She's like super caught up. I have. No, I'm not. Not anymore. <laughs> well, you've always been way more caught up than me. I literally have buckets. So I I'm only three years. Oh, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, pictures for this kit right, so right. I'm like, yeah so I I've been spreading my kits out more by adding in a few backgrounds because I I like to get as much as I can out because I have so many pictures that go with it so which before anybody asks we are looking at an option for an add-on or different versions but it always comes back to dang shipping on those things so we will yeah. we are exploring different ways on the kiwi club yes we have future for growing kiwi clubs as well which is part of the product questions um okay so Debbie you got what like three minutes I've got uh, maybe a thing. minute or two. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to, because I know favorite template. Oh, you could skip that. You know, I have the hardest awesome. time. Um, What's your most used? I actually today? genuinely love what you said, whatever a week ago. Well, just, we were talking about it. You said uh, the Kiwi Clubs. You were like, it's genuinely the love them. Jump in the mail. I, I, they're brand new to me. I haven't seen them before, and I, I get to play with them pretty in depth for a week, and they become my favorite. I was trying to think of, are we showing pictures? Because I'm going to have to leave. My yeah. favorite page. Oh, the yeah. The next question I did prep them for was, uh, your favorite layout was one of the questions. Okay, and if oh, sure that that one. Fails. So this one is, oh, it's going to be backwards. Sorry. So I can see that. Go to this right. it's my. There you go. Yours is okay. You're good. It was, yeah, mine okay. will be that word. Okay, so here's one page. My parents, when they got married, and the other side. This was I remember that layout in the idea book. Yeah. Quite a while ago. But lately, when I pull lately real quick, is this one with the hexagons because it was super fun. Um, I, I opened that kit. I saw those hexagons and I'm like, what am I going to do with those? And oh my gosh, one of my absolute favorite Ninda Kiwi clubs and the beautiful pictures of oh, my daughter, Rachel. Yeah. Guys, see. I'm going to need to go because I, I teach a class every Thursday night for family history. So it was fun hanging out with you. I just need a potty break before I start the next class. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> So a minute early and then walking over there. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with you. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, Shai, let's see your favorite layout. Susan, you know how, so I'm really indecisive. You know this about me. I know. I actually, I prepped them again for this one, you guys. And I literally was like, okay, okay, okay. And I was going down and searching through my books and my, my brain literally was like, I do not compute. I do not compute. Like it was like, <laughs> I don't I, understand what you're asking of me. This is such a hard know. question. <laughs> Can there be a free bit? I went through all of my albums this afternoon after she said that. I'm like, which one do I pick? I know so many. So what I did so then I'll go first. I just went, what is my latest one? So I only yeah. went through the last two, like the last year and a half. And I just They're went really through good. Yeah. Which one caught my attention? Cause if I would have kept going, I would have been like, but what about this one? Or what about this one? Um, I, this one stood out to me today. This one right here. That's and I will one. add that. I, did, I do love that one. Yeah. Most of my favorites and i'm not trying to pitch but this is the honest the kiwi one. Through my, yeah are the kiwi club ones i was like, doing the like, same thing today i was like wow i like that one i like that one because again paper makes a huge difference mm -hmm. and so to have that to have them cohesively yep um basically spotlight your pictures is really nice because it really yeah. um, enhances your pictures instead of competes with your pictures um, I also love this layout for whatever it's worth, just because of the symbolism of which it talks about. And it's just talking about like love life and be happy and just, just the joy. The kit itself is called happy, um, but just this, this reminder to be like, 
where your feet are, you know, um, as a working mom, full-time worker, like it's little moments like that, that I truly enjoy that. Like I try to make sure to balance as much as possible, but, um, just when, you know, work, I'm a big believer in working hard, playing hard too. So when I'm outside of it, be where your feet are and give it a hundred percent. And so I think that's also why that page really just speaks to me. Cause I'm really trying to, I'm not perfect at that. I'm trying. And I think that that's why that page speaks to me is because I'm, it's so prominent in my life as far as a focus right now. So if a focus changes, I'm sure my layout, favorite layout will change too. Cause that's how I work. <laughs> like, I love that. Well, I went through all my layouts and I did the same thing. I'm like, I'm not sure. I, I was feeling the same way about my Kiwi, I'm like, Kiwi kits. I'm like, these are all my best layouts. I would yeah. say, I, I feel like every one of them, I'm like, Ooh, that's cute. Ooh, that's cute. So I actually was like, well, maybe I should just show some of my super old ones that are still ones that I like. So that's where I kind of dug in and some people will probably, well, you'll, you'll notice you'll have seen these before because pretty much everything's in idea books. But this one's still one of my top faves. Um, it's actually on the cover of one of the idea books. It is on the first and one. I've, I've just, I love how pretty it is. I don't often get to do super just pretty because I only have one daughter. So <laughs> I really love, I love that one. And I'll show you one of my ones that I like of boys. I don't know if you guys see that. I love the clean feel on that one. Yeah. That's well, I the like pictures, it. That was from camping and that's like your son and you really embrace that side of him. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I love it because it's clean. It's very boyish and it just shows him off pretty well. So these are a couple of old ones and then I'll just show you really quick. This one's really not the best layout. Three. This is Shiloh for you guys. I know. I this is the, the typical shy. I said one layout shy. <laughs> Now I'm going to tell you a memorable story. Okay, okay, okay. So really quick, my family back in, I guess it's 2013, we started road tripping as a family for our vacations. And we were, it started by, we were going back to visit my husband's parents in Illinois um, at their mission. And so anyway, we decided to make this into this big, long road trip with the kids. And thankfully they were old enough to handle it, but we made this crazy detour to go see the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. Uh -huh. And it was all due to the Weird Al song um, that maybe you guys have, uh, well, maybe nobody's really heard it. <laughs> that was our road trip song. And so ever since then, it's inspired all these road trips. So you'll see lots of travel pictures and it's all a lot of it is based on trying to hit these weird random stuff from this Weird Al song about the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. Well, now so, you're going to go Google it if you're not. In, I'm intrigued. I know. So. Random song. Every time we get in the car for a road trip, the kids are like, put our song on. And so we listen to it and we're checking them off. Cranberry World, Tupperware Museum, all these weird stops. Yep. We've been there. 